welcome back to Vampire. So, we need to go visit young Mortimer and sort of uh, give him his letter that we uh, pilfer from his house, along with loads of other valuables. Because, you know, that's how we roll. Ooh, dead. Stop right now. Uh, okay. I've stopped. Stay away, sir. Okay, oh, my mistake. I'm so sorry. Oh, what am I talking about? I'm here to kill you. Woohoo! Oh, God, he's level nine. What do we do? Except for, you know, continuously stab him over and over again. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that's unfortunate. You're level 10. Oh, don't you touch me with your big flamey pointy stick, sir. I'm here to poke you with my big pointy stick. Oh, that sounds like a euphemism for the penis. I meant my teeth, by the way. Not really sticks, they're more... You know what? It doesn't matter. Let me kill you. I'm really sorry. If forget I said anything. It's not important. Gosh, that's unfortunate. Oh no, he's got a severe case of the wiggly hand. Don't worry, sir. I know the cure. Not that it matters to you now, anyway. <laughs> oh, because he's dead. Nah, let's go. Mm, that one isn't my handiwork. Oh, goodness. Did I did I come past you guys before? Stop! I don't want to stop. You can't make me. I'm not a leech. I'm a vampire. And I really dislike you calling me leech, sir. I find it disrespectful and uh, hurtful, and I'd really appreciate it if you did take that back. Oh, oh, he's got the fire, sir. Sir, let's talk about this. We're reasonable people. By talk, I mean. Thanks. Choppy, choppy. Oh, got that. Don't. Nothing to see here. I'm just doing my doctor's rounds. Oh, oh, it's gone through his leg. Oh. And that's how you get skin diseases. Anyway, scoot, scoot, scoot. Scoot, 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 scoot. Vampire scooting. Who doesn't like a bit of vampire scooting? Who's that? Is that clay? Must be. We're not allowed to scoot anymore. He's got the ills, but I don't really give a flying fart if he's got the ills, to be perfectly honest. Gwyneth, you're a horrible cover up -er. That's fine. Oh, yeah, we should probably talk to, uh,. Talk to, uh, is it Lady Ashbury? But, uh, we'll do that in a minute. Let me steal hospital supplies first. It's very important. Nurse Crane? Good day, sir. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. It's okay. Here's your letter. Got this for you. You can trust me, by the way. Please don't kill yourself. I have retrieved your letter, Mr. Goswick. I can assure you that nobody read it but me. Thank you. <clears throat> this is for you, then. For your help. And for your silence. I think you should talk to your mother. It would be good for both of you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. <clears throat> I'll think about it. Now, please, let me be. No problem. Thank you I for the money. Go now, sir. Good evening, sir. Hey, I helped your son. Uh, well, sort of, anyway. Now, this is a fine fellow who we've already found out that uh, another doctor doesn't uh, care for him particularly, but we're not here to worry about him right now. No, sir. These doctors can wait. We're in no particular rush with them. That's the benefit of this. The side quests don't particularly skew anywhere, which is quite nice. Let's go talk to the uh, benefactor of the hospital, shall we? I do need to go to Snoozies because uh, I've got lots of XP. It'd be really helpful at this point. Oh, hello. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <laughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> He's got a horrible curse of being low I'll textured. Kindness it's fatal. I'll be back round later. I think Your I'm words are kind. a not important Blessing NPC. An angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. I hate being an unimportant NPC. I don't even get textured properly. I'm doomed. Hello. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well. 
in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Well, Swansea fancies vampires. I feel played. I'm glad to see you. We're going to play this nice, because we're a nice vampire and a nice man. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. <laughs> Stop it, Doctor. Really. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Patients are giving you trouble. Well, we should ask. We're not here to ask about vampires since she's explicitly told us not to ask that yet, so let's not annoy the lady, but let's ask her if we've got any problems. Have any of the patients given you trouble? These poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. I hope you're not easing their pain by eating them. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. Everything full of double entendre, sir. Anyway, moving on. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Interesting. Someone else threatening you? Do you think it's another vampire threatening you? Who would be so foolish as to threaten you? A kindred spirit. Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. That's a fair point. Although vampires probably still need money. We need chillings after all. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Interesting. Now we could badger her and ask if it, the problem was true and whether those dates did incline, but that, truthfully, we are... We've been commissioned to deal with a problem. In which case, that's not really our problem. We'll take care of the issue. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion. But I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. I appreciate that, Lady Ashbury. The lady is absolutely lovely. I love her. She's brilliant. Now, we have a clear goal, don't we? Now, uh, wrong button. So, what side quests have we done? We've actually done all the side quests we've got unlocked so far. At least in this area. Ah, we do have a promising recruit one we picked up, but we can do that in a minute. We got a few ill people, but I don't have a huge amount of uh, medicine right now. And the district is fairly stable due to the hospital being in an okay situation right now. Now, we do need to talk to Harriet. And, of course, steal hospital supplies. That's very important. Must always steal drugs. Hello, we got a note here. Should we read that? About the use of garlic and wooden steaks. Uh, people were saying I did this a little bit too quickly last time, so I apologize. Here is the uh, long text, should you want to read it. And I will scroll down quickly, and that should do it, hopefully, the second part. Again, I'm, I'm really pleased to see that some of you are reading the uh, longer bits of text. It is really cool. There's some very nice flavor in there. Stealing drugs. Also, check out this guy. He's pretty, pretty messed up. Hey. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon. My here. god, he's ugly. War injuries, am I right? Oh, now I feel bad. Just right, Doctor. 
German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Hmm. Rumors of shady business, Thomas? Have you heard rumors of underhand dealings in the hospital? If you want to know what's going on here, you better talk to Miss Jones. She knows everything. Especially what she shouldn't. Well, looks like Harry's definitely my uh, place to go. Do you know much about Miss Halcroft's disease? Miss Halcroft, the uh, unwell lady who thought she was a vampire, by the way, for those curious. How close are you to Miss Halcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. A normal person. Aren't you afraid? She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. Her arm busted on the outside. But she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. Interesting. You let her bite you, or she's mentally disturbed? It's not really my business, but... Eh, being the doctor, that's not very sanitary. So do you let her bite you? Hey! You know that's not sanitary. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain, it's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patients. Then it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. Well, we're going to come back to you, Mr. Elwood. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. But for now... Hello, Sean. You don't, uh, remember anything pointy and vampiry, do you? Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. So, we can ask him about his flock or what do you do for a living. Uh, so we should ask him. What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Are you a priest? Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Hmm. We could ask you about why not to use your cross against William, but I don't really want to put myself out there about me being a vampire. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Mr. Hampton's still staying here for a while, but let's talk to Harriet. I mean, before we do that, we're going to raid Harriet's room, of course. Doris Fletcher in Sappho. Hmm. More importantly, yoink, a small bag of junk. Don't mind me, madam. This is perfectly normal for doctor's rounds. Just going to steal all your shit. Hello, Doris. What? What? What is this? Oh, no, you're not Doris. Who sorry. are you? Harriet, sorry. Room. There's that was no Doris. need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Please calm down. Shut up! <laughs> Please calm down, madam. I am, of course, a real doctor. Please calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. That's close. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts is a poor sod's fame. Are you the blackmailer, Harriet? You seem to know more about the goings on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. 
Hmm, it's not about medical error, but well, that is interesting. We should come back to that. This is about something else. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. Well, Harriet is absolutely lovely, isn't she? The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Well, we haven't spoke to Pippa yet, I don't think. Though Pippa is the nurse that's dating uh, Milton outside. We did her a favour. Maybe she can do us a favour. Oh, drugs. It's locked, all right. Yeah. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. Uh, I don't think we've been introduced yet. Pippa, what's My happened to your face? Pippa Hawkins. And Pippa, I'm Dr. Jonathan where Wright. are your textures? Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, there's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, doctor. Pippa, goodbye. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. I wish to. I wish for you to load pr correctly, Pippa. Let's try again, Pippa. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Nope, you're going to be eyebrowless for the rest of the. Okay, fine. Pippa, uh, I need to ask you a question, and it's not about you and Milton this time. No, we got something more important to deal with. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You <laughs> she looks so with weird. Old true Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. Hmm. Miss Jones does not deserve her help. Well, she, she kind of does, but she's a bit of a... Well, I guess patient. she is a patient, but hey, she might have said something truthful. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. Hmm. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You s oh, we didn't get anywhere here, did we? Did we? Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Well, let's find Dorothy. Where is Nurse Crane? Interesting. Nurse Crane's missing. Now that can't be a good sign, can it? That's Pippa. Look, that's how Pippa's supposed to look, with eyebrows. Pippa, what happened to your face? Pippa, what's wrong with you? Oh, I know, Pippa, I think you have face now? Good evening. Oh, Jesus. Good evening, Dr. Reed. She's okay. Thank God, I thought she had a Goodbye. severe case of the derp face. Never mind. Harriet Jones. I'm pretty sure that's a lady from Doctor Who. Well, here's Gwyneth. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Gwyneth, has there been a strange man visiting nurses? Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Oh. Really? Any hostels down for the criminal background? Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Well, thank you for answering that question with absolute nonsense. Goodbye, nurse. Okay. It's telling me that Nurse Crane is somewhere over here. Get over here now. Ah, interesting. Is that our favourite nurse? Hello, hello. Eavesdrop, I certainly will. So there's an unknown man there. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. All doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. 
I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. So Nurse Crane just handed something to Charlie Chaplin. That's interesting. Looks like we should follow Charlie Chaplin into the sewers. How sinister we should be. And Nurse Crane has just vanished off the face of the earth, which is not ideal. Okay. Oh, there's a gentleman down there. Don't know who that is. Most of these people we're going to come back to at separate points. Again, to spread stuff out a little bit so it's not all talky-talky. I want to fill up half the set with some chatting and stuff and the rest of the half beating people unsenseless. So I want to keep a nice, you know, theme to it. 